Look, that one's even waving its trunk to say hello to us as well. I mean, it isn't. It's lifting its trunk at the rest of the elephants. <laughs> oh, this is going to be stunning. So James has mentioned he is going to stay where he is. I'm going to stay exactly where I am, which is sitting on the dam wall at the Chitwa waterhole. And I'm going to wait for our elephants to come and have a drink. How lovely is this? Big open area. You just can't beat moments like this with elephants. They're doing their water walk, or they were doing their water walk earlier. They've slowed down a bit now. It's their sort of excited side-to-side -side head sway. And it almost looks, especially because most of the time when they do it, they're going downhill towards the water. It always looks as though gravity has kind of taken over. And their excitement to have a drink. Uh, Adrian, it's a good question. <laughs> oh, look at them going. Adrian, you want to know how long an elephant could survive without water? I would say not all that long without any water at all. I mean, surely not much longer than a week or so. I'm not sure exactly the precise amount. Obviously, for the little ones, it's going to be a shorter period of time than it is for the larger ones. But water is so essential in all our metabolic processes as animals that I would say they can't survive for very long in dehydrated settings. They are water-dependent creatures. Look how excited they are. Look at the little ones. But I'm not 100% sure exactly how long it, that would be. What would be the longest that an elephant could survive? I would say they would start getting very weak after about a week without water. They're not really purely adapted to be completely without water. Maybe some of you know exactly how long it would be. <laughs> they will drink whenever possible. So they really do enjoy a drink. Once a day, at least twice a day, if they can. And Sarah, that means that they travel, often travel quite large distances through the bush to get to water. Look at the little ones running to keep up. Water, 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 water. Hey, is that exciting? Sarah, I would say elephants could easily cover 40 kilometers in one day. Their long legs cover ground so rapidly. Although sometimes I feel a little bit sorry for the little ones that have to race at double speed. Where are you going? There's water here. Don't go all the way over there. They obviously know the best places to go and drink. They're about to collide with our Egyptian goose family, who are not impressed by this whole deal. Quick, kids. Elephants are coming into the water. <laughs> there we go. Look at that female moving the algae out of her way so that she can drink the water underneath. <laughs> Little one's going to take advantage of that. And they're all going to come crowding up together. Wonderful. And hopefully... We're going to have some going for a swim as well. Look how enthusiastically they're drinking. They obviously were very thirsty. And they were excited about this drink. And you can see it in the speed that they're sucking the water up and then transferring it into their mouths. Is that our stumpy trunked elephant or is that another one? She definitely doesn't have her full trunk. I mean, this could be her herd combined with a, another group. Typically, we only see our short-trunked elephant with three other elephants rather than a whole herd. I don't think it's her. I think this is a different elephant. You do find them with shortened trunks from time to time. The one that we're so fond of is not the only one. And as you can see, not disadvantaging her at all. Goodness, it's all happening this afternoon. We've got the elephants drinking, and Tristan has got elephants, no, hippopotamus, playing. We do indeed. They've been porpoising and chasing...